Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another what? episode of the Albino Rhino. You gotta start that again. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Cooler Review. Hunter and the Rhino are here. We're Good drinking evening. this here Smirnoff Cooler. This is cranberry and lime. Mm. It's an interesting combination. Alrighty, so cranberry and lime. It is 7% <clears throat> ABV. Premium vodka mixed drink. Pardon me. Oh, God. It's um, <laughs> the last thing you just drank. So this is the Smirnoff Company in Toronto, Ontario. Is what it says back here, which just means that... Uh, I don't know if that's telling us that it's made here or that Diageo is bringing it in, because Diageo is the Smirnoff yeah. Company. Um, They're probably bringing it in. Ingredients. I, I think Smirnoff is a Canadian company, though, is it not? No. No. I challenge you. No. <laughs> Carbonated water. Does that say what it? Okay, vodka. Carbonated water, vodka, sugar, glucose, fructose, Does she use citric opener? acid, natural flavors, sodium citrate, sodium benzoate. Um, A whole bunch of sodium shite. Some type of acid. What's acids? Um, what, what? This last line. Presulic acid, posolium sulbite in color. Alrighty, well, lots of chemicals. Let's lots drink it. Chemicals. Now, what I don't get, it says you have to use an opener. So a lot of youth that like Smirnoff products, well, first of all, a lot of them don't carry openers with them when they're going to parties and shit. So they're fucked. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm sure they'll find a way to open it, but... With the edge of a table. Yeah, but, you know, usually wouldn't they cater to having a twist top? Well, the big classic ones all have twist tops, yeah. right? But these come in six packs, right? Uh, I don't know. We got these as singles, right. but I think they come in six packs normally, yes. Yeah. I try not to buy six packs of this no. stuff if we don't have to. But, uh, yeah, fun. red color. Red. Not too much bubbly, though. I'm not getting too many bubbles on there. You get some cranberry, you get some lime, but what you're mostly smelling is uh, normal Smirnoff ice. It's like normal Smirnoff ice with red food colorings. I can smell a lot of cranberry and lots of sugar. I can smell the fucking sugar coming out. Oh yeah, I, I might be diabetic after we're done this. Perfect. <clears throat> That's like pure Kool-Aid. <laughs> Let's try it. Not many bubbles though. Yes, very soft, unlike the regular Smirnoff ice, so it's so what, full of acid yeah. and full of carbonation. This one doesn't taste as acidic either. It's pretty light tasting. Really light. There's two people passing notes over there. It's awesome. very light. It's easy drinking. And it's 7% alcohol. I can taste a lot of lime in it, though. Can you, you do get a lot of lime, you get a lot of cranberry. So it's telling you it's exactly what it says. Yeah, unlike label. unlike most Smirnoff cooler products, it's actually telling the truth on it. Uh, but I do get a little bit of that normal Smirnoff ice flavoring, almost like they just added powdered cranberry to it just to. Yeah, you can taste okay. taste chemical a bit on it. Yeah. It's, it's not as product. it's not as chemical as their other products though. And like I said, nicely, it's not as acidic either. So it's easier to handle. It's very that. easy to drink. That it is. Throw a couple ice cubes in there, and like you could even use that in a punch. You know what I mean? Um, It'd be great in a punch. So your two ratings: your rating and your eighteen-year-old girl rating. <laughs> uh, as a thirty-year-old man, and I don't drink too many coolers, but I don't know if taste-wise, I would use that in a punch. I'd give it a seven-five. Uh. 18-year-old girl? Well, first of all, I wouldn't be carrying an opener with me, so I'd be fucked. Uh, they'd probably like... She'd probably like it as a taste. Uh, I'd give it a 6.5 as an 18-year-old girl. Alrighty. As a 30-year-old man, I'm going to give this a 7. I would possibly buy it again if I was looking for a cooler. It's not the worst cooler out there. As an 18-year-old girl, I'd probably give it an 8.5. This would be a panty remover. In my opinion. But yeah, thank you, YouTube. Smirnoff Cranberry Lime. Bye bye. Bye bye.